Did you know the Prime Minister of Canada has a pet alien? I read it online, and I even saw a photo. A photo! It must be true, right? Wrong. Turns out, sometimes the news you find on the internet isn't real. It's what we call fake news. Sometimes the story starts as a joke, and then somebody takes it seriously, and it spreads. But why would anybody waste their time inventing a fake news story? It's clickbait. The more people click on an interesting sounding story, the more people will see the ads on that web page. And that equals money. And sometimes people just want to spread their own ideas or beliefs without backing them up with any facts at all. Vote for me and I'll turn all rivers into ice cream by 2020. That's a promise. You mean that's not true? I read that one online like a week ago. Oh, I love ice cream. So, how can you tell if a news story is fake? I know this one. Watch out for no eyewitnesses or quotes and phony experts in a story. Pictures that might have been photoshopped. Headlines written in capital letters with lots of exclamation points. Yep, that's right. Those things are all good indicators that the story you're reading is fake. Here's a few more. Lots of pop-ups and banner ads. Lots of broken links. No author's name and incomplete information in the About Us section of the website. Also, check the date the story was written. Is this just an old story that's been recycled? Are any other major websites reporting the same thing? If not, the story probably isn't real. And check the website address. Fake URLs usually try to copy real websites, often by adding unnecessary words and domains. A basic rule of thumb? If you aren't sure that a story is real, don't share it. Hey, look, the banana company is giving away free B phones. All I have to do is share this article with 500 of my friends and I could get a free... Oh, right. <sighs> Fake, Fake news. news.